So to wrap up, let me show you uh, just two more slides, one about technical issues and one about kind of the economic issues. Uh, we know that relative humidity indicates the chemically active water that's available to interact with adhesives and floor coverings. In our experience over the last 15, 20 years, making lots of measurements, thousands of measurements on, on many different floors, it really seems to be the most useful tool to understand the true moisture picture within a floor. Uh, adhesive and floor covering performance really does relate to relative humidity. As you saw, we can do tests, scientifically valid, accurate, useful tests in the laboratory that tell us how an adhesive and floor covering responds to different relative humidities so that manufacturers can set up these tiered systems and, and provide you with uh, particular adhesives and floor coverings that will work under different moisture conditions. We know that relative humidity can be measured usefully even when the building is not at service conditions. Uh, we will know in a fairly short time, um, we'll have available for you some graphs and some tables so you can convert relative humidity measurements made in the field uh, under whatever the temperature conditions happen to be to the true service conditions that the floor covering will see. And that's going to be great because it means we'll be able to make measurements early in the life of construction and predict if the floor will be dry enough when it's time to install the floor coverings or coatings. And on this uh, next slide, let's talk for just a minute about uh, the economic benefits of relative humidity measurements. First of all, RH provides um, the most useful information so that you're making decisions that are going to minimize risk, uh, reduce claims and callbacks, because you'll know the true moisture picture actually down in the floor. Many times flooring installers have measured the uh, calcium chloride emission level at a surface only to get a call back because the floor fails later in the life of the building. By measuring the true moisture picture down in the floor, uh, you're getting a, a true understanding of the moisture condition and, and then you can make um, judgments, economic decisions, whether or not to install the flooring uh, based on valid, useful data. Uh, we saw from the video there's really a very low initial effort to install uh, these probes. We can put um, dozens of probes in a floor slab in an hour. It's a very quick, simple, uh, easy method to do. You can read them quickly and you can also come back and immediately reread the probes with very little effort and no waiting time. The Rapid RH has a big benefit over reusable types of probes. Also, um, it's low cost. If you buy these things in bulk, we're looking at a cost of uh, two or three cents a square foot if you use a, a probe for every thousand square feet. So the cost is very low, the benefit is very high. We can meet manufacturers' warranty requirements. As of, uh, as of now, um, the fall of 2008, um, we've got 30 to 40 manufacturers who recognize relative humidity. And therefore, you'll meet their warranty requirements, reduce your claims, minimize your risks by making relative humidity measurements in the floor slab. So that concludes our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope all this information will be useful to you.